if I can really uh, give you one piece of advice that's so important with these 392s, and it's the reason why so many guys get into trouble building these 392s is because... All right, guys, so welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. If you're new, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about how you could get your 392 faster than a Hellcat. there's going to be a handful of people out there that are going to say, why don't you just trade in your 392 for a Hellcat? Or here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the fuck up. The price difference on the used car lot is about 15 to $20,000 uh, between a 392 and a Hellcat. And you could you know, save up your money and go out and get a Hellcat. But for the rest of us that actually enjoy the modifying process, enjoy, you know, having a lower trim level badge, going up against a higher trim level and watching their jaw drop and going, how the hell did that just happen? You know, this video is really meant for you. Uh, now, the two builds that I kind of want to talk about is a street strip, which is going to be competitive from zero to 100 roll racing and if you go to the drag strip it's going to be very very you know the the quarter mile times is going to be really good the other avenue is keeping your uh 392 na and it's really going to be focused on zero to 120 now you're going to have severe a lot less power than a hellcat but your your whole uh car is going to be optimized for really good weight transfer and actually a good 60 foot and getting that quarter mile time as best uh, you know down as best as possible now in order to compete with a hellcat it comes with a 6.2 liter supercharged v8 hemi it's rated at 707 crank horsepower and when it goes up on a dyno jet it's in the ballpark of a about 630, 640 wheel horsepower, depending on the correction factors. The quarter mile time is about an 11, one, 11, three, and that's on drag radials. When I go to the drag strip, I know this is controversial. I always see them in the 11s, low, low 11s. We're gonna go 11, one, 11, three is what we need to kind of beat. Now the stock um, 392 is rated at 485 horsepower. And when it goes up on the dyno, it's at about 430 wheel horsepower. And that's a, about a 200 wheel horsepower gap that we're going to have to kind of close in order for you to compete with it. The first couple of things that we're going to have to do is up the horsepower. And I'm going to start off with a custom grind cam. I'm going to give my buddy Mac built a shout out because he does a great job with uh, custom grinding cams. Hope y'all like the tag. And I'll tell you the 392s that he installs these and tunes them, uh, they are putting up some crazy high uh, performance. So. That, along with some uh, long tube headers, you're going to be in the neighborhood of about 480 to about 500 wheel horsepower, depending on which cam you go with, which long tube headers you go with, and who's tuning your vehicle. Either way, you're going to be picking up at least 40 to 50 horsepower. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is pick up some kind of a positive displacement blower. Now, if you're really just going after crushing Hellcats, I would go, I would stick with a positive displacement blower, but you could go down the turbo route or the centrifugal force, uh, you know, supercharger route. You're running six, seven pounds of boost on that 392 that's cammed long tubes. You're gonna be making some, you know, real nice power. Now, along with that, that supercharger, you're gonna want larger injectors probably around a thousand cc's and then you're going to have to upgrade to a 450 pump to keep up with uh that now keep in mind this is on 93 so really after you add all that kind of of uh, power up and everything after a transmission and an engine dyno tune um you're probably going to be in the neighborhood of about 640 650 and that's being kind of conservative even though it only has six seven pounds of boost the 392 has a much higher compression ratio and also to the much larger you know cubic inch is going to keep it very optimized and and you're going to you're going to pick up quite a bit of horsepower uh the hellcat runs i believe it's between 10 to 12 pounds so you know on basically half the boost you're making uh the same power so it's pretty impressive the last thing that you're going to want to do with a street 
you know, build is actually go with some wheels and tires. You're going to want to catch some traction. Uh, even if you're doing roll races, you know, some street strip uh, drag radials, maybe some Mickey Thompson ET streets or some Nitto NTO fives or uh, Toyo proxies, you know, those kinds of tires are going to really get your build up and ripping. You go to the drag strip, you're going to be throwing up some impressive quarter mile times. You'll probably be in the neighborhood of low tens. Now, the other build that I kind of want to talk about is going to be competitive with a Hellcat from the quarter mile perspective only. This is a drag racing build. Again, we're trying to beat the neighborhood of like low 11, so 11.1, 11, 11 second. And at the drag strip, a 392 is likely throwing up in between a 12.5 and a 12 second, okay? Anywhere in between that. You put some drag radials on there and I've seen 392s starting to flirt with 11s. So the first thing that I would wanna do is actually put some wheels and tires on there, really good you know, drag radial. That's gonna get you up and moving. Now, like the other build, I would actually consider doing a cam with long tube headers and you're going to be really at the, the horsepower and torque that you're gonna need in order to beat up on a Hellcat from zero to 120. You should, uh, like I said before, you should be in the neighborhood of about four 480 to 500 wheel horsepower and then you're going to want to upgrade your suspension to kind of optimize your launching okay you want really good weight transfer on those launches and um, out of the hole you should be able to cream a hellcat and then a higher stall torque converter okay the 1320 has what is it a 2350 stall so you're going to want at minimum a 1320 torque converter but i would even go higher and that's going to really improve your 60 foot and bounce off the line and get yourself a nice big head start uh, from that Hellcat. And you're going to be a 480 wheel horsepower animal, okay? After that, you can start doing some smaller bolt-ons. And, uh, you know, that's going to put, like, the, the cherry on the top. But either way, those two types of builds are going to be very competitive with a Hellcat, if not even cream them. The problem with the first build is that your ceiling is, is super low. Uh, you're going to have to, in order for you to kind of go to that next level past the 640 wheel horsepower with a 392, you're gonna have to upgrade your transmission because you're maxed out with that HP 70. It's kind of the same issue that I was at. Along with your fueling, you're gonna have to, you know, kind of redo the fueling. And if you wanna add more force there, um, you know, you're gonna have to uh, forge those pistons, maybe even a new crank, uh, crankshaft and, and whatnot. But guys, if I can really uh, give you one piece of advice that's so important with these 392s and it's the reason why so many guys get into trouble building these 392s is because they select the wrong tuner. Make sure you select a really good tuner to do any upgrade uh, for these 392s because that is going to make and break uh, your build, okay? Uh, so with that being said, guys, definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. Hopefully this helps out in some light and I'll catch you guys on the next upload.